So a lot of people ask me how you can influence others to change or how can you incorporate some wisdom into people's lives and, um, and there are many ways that I could probably answer this but the very personal answer that for me resonates in this moment in my life is actually by growing and knowing yourself as a leader, as a human, as a mother, as a professional, as a founder, as a sister, whatever it is. It's just really about intuitively knowing yourself. Um, and a lot of people always say, you know, what books are you reading and what content is relevant and what toolkit exists out there. And there are so many things that you can check and podcasts and books and, um, and really the list is endless. And that's probably the problem is that we're caught up in this chaos of noise and this overwhelming feeling of not knowing the right path, of not knowing what's, what's next right? Like you probably relate to this feeling and I have personally been there where I, I know I need to achieve a goal and I need to get somewhere but I don't know how to get there. There are so many paths and for me what's really has helped me is to really truly connect to myself um, and that is a process that really takes an awful lot of time. I have been lucky enough to be on my very own personal development probably since the moment I was born. This is who I am. And obviously while I was in the corporate world, that was something that I couldn't really focus on. It is really interesting what happens when you're in a Monday to Friday environment. You're very busy, you're overwhelmed, you're stressed. There's a lot of priorities, there is people around you, there is a big organization, there are targets, strategies, and you lose yourself in, in, in this. You lose yourself, you lose your voice, and you hardly spend time on yourself. If you think of that Eisenhower matrix of what's important and urgent versus what's important but not urgent, we really put on ourselves in quadrant two, don't we? We really put ourselves on that not on that important but non urgent stuff. That book we want to read, that meditation we want we want to incorporate into our lives, that podcast we want to listen to, that vision board that we want to create, whatever it is that is always sitting on Q2. And so, how can we change this? We really need to build that compound effect, and nothing will change until you bring that to your day to day habits and routines and the only way to do this is actually by committing to it having some level of discipline and really making sure that a lot of that 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 drive that's within you to get to know you is incorporated in that business of life because let's be honest we're freaking busy I've got two kids I've got a husband I've got a business to run I've got multiple and multiple priorities and conflicting priorities most of the time so my advice to you is to really number one Schedule what's important and non-urgent in your life today. Get that calendar out, write it down, put it on your computer, write it down on your phone, whatever works. Make sure that you put that thing that you wanna work on on your phone, on that calendar. Make sure that that's the time that you consistently and every day look at committing to. It will take time, it will take a few weeks, but over time, this will become part of your muscle. And this is what's gonna drive your mindset. This is what's gonna drive you to change and to become aware of who you really are. This is a process, process guys, and this is a process that will take you until the moment you die. And that is the beauty of life.